Hello, visionaries. Welcome back to Akin Channel. Atkan Bango Golandito. Welcome. And today, let's talk about the next reigning queen of RuPaul's Drag Race Philippines season two. But first, you guys know I have to ask you guys who are you guys rooting for? Who do you think is going to take the crown and why? And also, how do you think this episode, the season finale, is going to go down in which order and all everything and all in between okay i want to know all your thoughts and opinions let me know down in the comments you guys have been killing it in these elimination episodes throughout this whole season and thank you guys so much for joining me on this wild ride throughout this whole season and also please give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button that notification bell and share this video on all your social media platforms and also i am going to be doing lives each and every sunday for the library is open episodes sunday night lives at 8 p.m pacific standard time 11 p.m eastern standard time so make sure you guys do not miss that and make sure you guys turn on all post notifications for that check out my community tab throughout the week to see what is going on on my channel so with that being said let's get into who is going to win and be the next reigning queen of rupaul's drag race philippines okay we have our top four queens we have arizona brandy we got Miss Jade So, we got Miss Bernie, and we also have Miss Captivating Cat Cat. I'm just going to keep it honest. I'm going to keep it totally real, and I'm going to be unbiased in my opinions. You guys know, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I do not play biasness at all. From the Meet the Queens, I immediately wanted Jade So to win. I wanted her to win. I was rooting for her. Shit, I was rooting her all the way up until the end, and I still am rooting for her. I'm rooting for all the queens this season, right? But at the end of the day, I'm going to have to be real with myself and take my biasness and favoritism to the queen that I enjoy most and I and I am attracted to looking at the most like on a on a visual level, right? So, I have to take into taking the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent that was displayed throughout this whole season. That's what I'm judging it on. I'm not judging anything off of what happens beyond the show, what happens behind the scenes. I'm only judging this um, season finale on the edits of what we've seen throughout this season. Okay? I want everyone to know that. So with that being said, of top four queens the first queen i want to mention is miss jade so gorgeous stunning dollification doll-esque situations and i'm here for it but do i think that she is going to win this season no and here's why i think that from the beginning of the season when i did the meet the queens I wanted Miss Jade So to step out of the box and and be more than just her physical appearance and her drop dead gorgeousness. That's what I wanted for Miss Jade So because I already knew going into this season, she people might say, "Oh my goodness, she has pretty privilege," which she does, but pretty privilege. It really is beneficial when you're not on a drag race competition show especially like drag race because you have to be then you have to be more than just beautiful and drop dead gorgeous right and i wanted her to push that boundary and i wanted her to go there and to me yes she did push the boundary yes she went there yes she's in her own world and yes she lives her own she lives her own fantasy and i'm here for all of that but is that truly indicative to what a winner of drag race is is that somebody on who we want to be our next reigning queen from any franchise, right? So to me, I think that A, she definitely brought the physical aspect of what I would think a winner would look like. She's drop dead gorgeous. You can put her in anything and, and make her look good, right? But with saying that, keep in mind, she had nine episodes to be put in something to, to be um, exceptional at, but did she excel at all her looks? Was she, did she look the best throughout this whole season? 
No, she didn't. It just fell short for me, for Miss Jade. I'm rooting for her and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Trans representation all the way. Right. But I don't think that she has what it takes to be the next reigning queen. Maybe with some maturity, maybe with some growing. And another thing, like you have to know how to speak to people. It's not just about your physical appearance and taking a picture or a little um, a little reel or story and look sickening at doing that in an ensemble. You have to know how to speak. You have to know how to intellectually talk to people in a way for them to just be to gravitate to you. You know, yes, when we hear Miss Jade speak, she is in her own world. But it's not the world that I would want to be in when I'm looking at a leader or somebody that's a top tier. It's somebody that when I see Miss Jade, that is my little sister and she is just a young girl, you know, and she's a cute kiki. But I cannot be around that all the time. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing that really kind of rubbed me the wrong way, I'm going to be honest, is when she uses the terminology, don't don't call her um, he, she, they, them, call her an it. To me, I think trans women have fought so hard to be to not be called an it in society. And for her to say that is acceptable and that's what she wants to be called and that's what she that's what she um, that's what she identifies as, that is totally fine. I'm going to respect what she wants to be identified as, but will I call her an it? Will I say that any trans woman that wants to be called an it is okay? Absolutely not. I'm just going to call you by your name. So to me, I think that was kind of like a, ooh, but at the end of the day, I have to look at what her track record was, right? She Did she do good throughout these challenges? Did she push the boundaries? Was she good at improv? Was she good at acting? Was she good at dancing? Did she service our looks? And all I took everything into consideration. She just fell short for me. Period, point blank. And that's just what it is. That's my favorite queen on the season, but I have to keep it real. Next queen, Miss Arizona Brandy. To me, it just isn't the favored one to win. And I think that can hinder her from this competition. I think she's great. I think she's the underdog. I think that people sleep on her. I think that she is, she's a queen that's going to show you, you don't have to have all of um, the bells and whistles, all of this money, all of these ensembles, all these um, outrageous, extravagant, over-the-top looks for you to make it to the end and be a crowned queen. And I'm conflicted with Miss Arizona Brandy because I grew to love Miss Arizona Brandy. To me, I think that she has the best personality on this season. I think that she is going to be your best friend. And I think that everyone's going to be gravitated to her because I think we all are. And um, I'm just impressed with her story arc. And I'm impressed with how she navigated throughout this season without all the bells and whistles, but with her charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent. That is why I love Miss Arizona Brandy. Do I think that she's going to make it to the top two? Unfortunately, I do not think that she's going to make it to the top two. Would I love for that to happen? Absolutely. I would love for that to happen because she is a good contender. And she would be good to just be a crowned queen because, you know, it's just kind of like we always want to root for the underdog. You know, we always we have a soft spot for well, at least I do. And I think that she is going to, um, you know, I think she, she will be a good reigning queen. But um, as far as her performance levels, yes, she didn't give us the looks. She didn't give us the best looks throughout the season, um, but she performed her ass off. She gave us the improv. She gave us the acting. She gave us um, her charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, like I said. You know, she gave us a personality. She gave us a good story arc, right? And I, that's what I love about it. Um, but I do not think that she's going to be the top two. So... Now let's move on to who I think will be the top two of this of this episode. Next queen, it is Miss Bernie. Miss Bernie, to me, I'm going to be honest, again, going in to meet the queens, I liked her, but I didn't think that she was going to be a top contender. I just didn't. Um, 
And that's for me on the outside looking in as far as like the Filipino culture. I don't know anybody, right? I don't know anybody. I'm going off just looks alone from Meet the Queens and the first episode, right? So I'm like thinking, okay, she's cute, but I didn't think nothing of it. But as the season went on and as we seen her story arc and her character development, you know, build up, we fell in love with Miss Bernie. She's the most sane She's the most stable. She's the most, um, you know, unbiased. She keeps it at a level of um, being very neutral in any situation, which is a great thing to have, especially when you are going to be a reigning queen. You want to look at all aspects of everything that is going on. And her looks were smashing. Her performances were smashing. Her charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent was captivating shade, right? But at the end of the day, I think that she will be the top two in the season finale to take the crown. Do I think that she is going to win the crown? I don't think that she is going to take the crown only because she's going to have to lip sync against Miss Cat Cat. And I think that just from what we've seen this last episode, um, with her lip syncing against her, against Cat Cat. She didn't prevail and she didn't command the stage as much as she did that she needed to. And if someone had to go home that episode, Bernie would have went home. But if she does win, I'm totally happy for her. And congratulations. She is more than deserving. Now this leads me to the last queen, which is Miss Captivating Cat Cat who I think is going to make it to the top two and who I think that is going to be the crowned queen. Now, wait, 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 wait. I know that you guys have a lot of things on your mind. People that are not, that do not favor Miss Cat Cat. And keep in mind from what I said and stated in the beginning of this episode of this video, I'm only judging this and I'm giving my critiques on this situation from what we've seen in the final edit of these episodes. I'm not judging her on what is past Drag Race Philippines. I'm only judging her from what she presented and what she gave us throughout the season. And what she gave us was good character development, good story arcs, great, free, oh my God, the best looks on the season the best track record of the season. Um, and honestly, all of the all of the ups and downs is what you need for a good person of the season. And that makes me want makes you look at someone so differently at the end of everything. She started off and obviously they painted her as the villain, but in my mind, I cannot be mad at somebody to keep it real and authentic with themselves and not sugarcoat anything. I'd rather a person be upfront with me and tell me how they feel because I know how to conduct with them instead of being fake and phony with me and me not knowing how I should act and, and move forward with that individual. And I think Cap, Cat Cat is definitely one of those girls that she's going to keep it real. She's going to keep it authentic, whether you like it or not, or whether you think it's too abrasive or not. That's just how it is. And from what we've seen this season, yes, she got into it with Miss Jade So. Yes, she got into it with Miss Didi. But we see how Miss Didi did that situation. Didi was technically the villain of that situation, you know? And then Miss Jade So situation, to me, if you need to go watch that video, I'm going to link it up at the top right here. I broke down that situation on what I think it is. And to me, I don't think that Cat Cat was the villain of that thing, of that situation with Miss Jade So. So with that being said, story arcs from how she started in the competition to the end of the competition. Her performances were great. Her acting challenges, great. Her improv, great. Her snatch game, good. I mean, honestly, like it was just, it was a perfection season for her. And that's what you want from a queen that's on a drag race season. It's just, that's just what it is. 
You cannot, that, there's a reason why they have a Miss Congeniality and you have a crowned freaking queen. They're not the same. If you want someone that's nice and gets along with everybody, you are rooting for the um, Miss Congeniality. You're not rooting for the crowned queen. Look at all of the past winners of each season of Drag Race, any franchise, and you look at the majority of the queens. Were they the most liked? Did they have some spiciness to them? Did they have an edge to them? Did they technically super get along with everybody? No, they didn't. They knew they knew from the jump that they're going into the competition with, I'm the baddest bitch. I got this in the bag. I know what I'm doing. I am confident in myself. And even if they didn't, they didn't start that way. They ended that way. And that's what's all that matters to that situation. And I think Miss Cat Cat did just that. She started with knowing that she was a shit. She had her downs and her ups throughout the season and her conflicts. And she was in the war and through the battlefield, she came up triumphant. And that's what I loved about it. Do I agree with Miss Cat Cat and her statements beyond the show of what she what she talks about? Absolutely not. But I can only go by what we are what we've seen throughout this season. That's what I'm judging it off of. And that is why I say Miss Cat Cat will win this season of RuPaul's Drag Race Philippines. And I think that she's rightfully so and deserving to win. Whether you don't like her personality or not. Those are, that is just what it is. Character development, story arc, um, track record, charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Fabulous looks. It's amazing on what she produced throughout this season. And she should get all of her roses. Whether you don't like her, that is your prerogative. And that is your thing. And you have to understand why you don't like her. You don't like her, not because she didn't provide all those things I listed. You don't like her because you don't like the way she makes you feel. And that's just what it is. So with that being said, again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below on um, who do you think is going to be the next crown queen and why? And also, how do you think it's going to go down? Speaking of that, real quick. What I really want, how I think it's going to go down, I really want Miss Captivating Cat Cat and Miss Jade So to go at it for a lip sync because I think it's going to be a cherry on top of the cake for them to just go at it one final last time for the season to give us what we need. This is what we want. And it would be great if they give us that. I'm hoping that they give us that. Drag Race Philippines, give us that. That's the first lip sync or second, whatever. Next two queens going at it is Miss Arizona and, Brand and Miss Bernie. Great. Do I think Miss Arizona will win over Miss Brand Arizona Brandy? Yes, I think that. Between Miss Jade So and Miss Captivating Cat Cat, I think Miss Captivating Cat Cat will, will win over Miss Jade So. And now it leaves the top two queens, Miss Arizona Brandy, I mean Miss um, Bernie and Miss Captivating Cat Cat. And from what we've seen already from the season, I think that Miss Captivating Cat Cat will come, come out triumphant in that lip sync for the crown. And I cannot wait. Another thing I cannot wait for is what these girls are going to bring us throughout this, the looks that they're going to give us through the season, through this um, episode. Between Drag Race France and Dra Drag Race France and Drag Race Philippines this, this year, the best seasons of Drag Race franchises. And bravo to all the queens that, that didn't make it to the top four and that are the top four now. You guys deserve all your roses and you guys deserve everything that's coming to you. And just know that this is your start of your career. Doesn't matter if you win the crown or you don't. It's the beginning of you because at the end of, at the, end of the day, you're going to get paid, you're going to get booked, you're going to be seen, and you're going to have a flourishing career. This is just a stepstone. The crown is just the cherry on top. So please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, 
that notification bell and share this video on all your social media platforms. And like always, visionaries, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it, as long as you make it freaking fabulous. And to the next one. Bye.